Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the Super Sulphur Magic Mask from Starface. I don't think I've tried anything from Starface before, um, but as you can see, my skin is not being good. I'll be honest, I've been a bit lax with the skincare and I've not been wearing makeup as much recently, just because of other stuff that's going on. Um, it's just something I haven't been getting around to on a daily basis. So, this is £16. I bought it on Beauty Bay. And this is what they say about it. So it's a breakout treating and preventing face mask. Treat yourself and your skin to the Starface Super Sulphur Magic Mask. This fun yet effective mask is formulated with kaolin clay, blueberry extract and 10% maximum strength sulphur, which helps to unclog pores, absorb excess oil and reduce inflammation, making it perfect for acne prone skin when used as a regular treatment. So... It looks like it's blue. Um, they've got a swatch picture on Beauty Bay, which is a little bit odd with skincare. Um, do we have a seal? We do have a seal. I'm interested to see how this smells because sulfur, sulfur can smell like rotten eggs. Um, but there's other ingredients in there that hopefully are going to. I'm going to need to be unclassy. There we go. It was just slippy and not coming off. Don't pretend you don't do it. We all do it. That's what I keep telling myself so that I feel better. So. I'm going to zoom you in. We're going to do half my face so that we can do a side by side comparison. And yeah. Right. So. And I'm just out the shower, by the way. That's my hair. Why my hair is wet. Okay. Unattractively zoomed in skin. Um, so you can see there's quite a lot of redness, which can be inflammation so maybe it's going to help with that. We've got pores, we've got spots that are still coming out and yeah. Actually my pores on my cheeks aren't as scary. I mean there's one that needs emptied. Anyway, so we're going to do one side and not the other to do the contrast and whew, let's zoom my skin out to a less scary level. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, it's blue. It looks like toothpaste. Actually, no, it does not look like toothpaste. If something was that texture, I would not want to put it in my mouth. It's quite hard to squeeze out. <laughs> I mean, it's not a strong scent, but the scent is there. I'm glad it's not strong. Let's put it that way. So... I'm going to go down my jawline because I've been getting quite a lot down there as well. Finally, start my permanent job on Wednesday, guys. And then life can go back to normal. I can have a proper routine, income. I can buy all the things I want to review because yet again, by the way, I had enough points for another £10 voucher on Beauty Bay. Luckily, I'd just been kind of hoarding my tribe points. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so, it's £16 for 25 mils, but I use a voucher and got it for £6. Which is why it's currently featuring in my budget-friendly period. <laughs> no. Um... I'm talking rubbish again. Okay, so this is quite cool that it's blue. I want to make sure I definitely get on that kind of developing one. How mad am I going to look if this does majorly reduce the, the redness and inflammation in my skin? And I'm like... Whew. I mean, the fact that it's blue and I'm Scottish, I'm already thinking about Braveheart. So, there's that. Anyway, um, time wise, it is 10 to 9. I'm going to go and chill out in my bed, play stupid games on my phone, and I'll be back about 5 past because I am going for the full 15 minutes because my skin needs help. Right, so we're at the, we're almost at the 15 minute mark. Um, just wanted to come back before I rinsed it off to see, look, it's still blue! 
Um, a lot of kind of clay based ma clay based blah, 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 clay based masks will kind of go a paler grey colour when they set, and this one hasn't. Um, I will say some of the thicker areas of my face um, haven't quite set yet. Um, but where I've got a thinner layer has. So I'm going to give it another wee minute before I rinse it off. I just wanted to show you guys about the fact that I hadn't changed colour before I went and washed my face. Right, so this is the side we done and I don't know, I feel like the red looks a tiny bit calmer. Like, like over here I feel it looks a bit calmer. Um, I'm going to zoom you in anyway and we'll look together. I've not had a close look yet. Um, it was just kind of striking me that that's how my face looks slightly better. Um, okay, so pore wise, this is the side we've done the mask on. Side we did, oh. I think that looks quite significantly better. My nose is an absolute mess. I think there's some like uh, dead veins on my nose as well. By the way, my skin's just all over the place. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, doesn't feel particularly soft, but it's not a moisturising mask in any way. It's about drying up and sticking out oil and sebum and all that stuff. Oh, didn't zoom you out far enough. So, I really like this. I mean, uh, it's gave me a bit of a result just on like first impression, so that's pretty cool. Um, the smell was what I was worried about. Like I said, there's a tiny bit like a background smell to it, and to be honest, when I was wearing it, unless I was properly like, <sighs> I wasn't smelling it, um, and I tend not to sit around and breathe like that, <laughs> um, ever. So, slightly harder to rinse off. Um, I mean, clay masks tend to be one of the harder ones to rinse off because clay is not the most water soluble thing without a lot of water going into it. Um, but if you went in with like a face cloth or a brush, you would be fine. I just didn't want to do that with a review because those things can also improve the appearance of your pores and I wanted it to purely be the effect of this product on my skin and not of any other kind of techniques or whatever. So, I like it. I will definitely be using it again. I think I might be repurchasing it again. Oh yeah, and um, just talking about the try to rinse off being a bit difficult. I mean, you saw how difficult it was to squeeze out, so it is thick. Um, it is a thick formula. But yeah, I am pretty happy with this. I'm looking forward to doing the other side of my face. Um, if you've got any questions, leave them down below and I will get back to you. Um, just one other thing I've just realised in the back that I should read out to you. When using this product, skin irritation and dryness is more likely to occur if you use another topical acne medication at the same time. If irritation occurs, use only one topical acne medication at a time and do not use unbroken skin. So anybody that knows that they already use any kind of other topical acne medication, aka like any creams or stuff that you put on your skin, maybe do a little test patch with this before you um, slather it all on. But yeah, I hope you guys have an awesome weekend and I will see you guys in the next one.